Hey everyone, thanks for stopping in. Uh, we're going to do a quick uh, what sold video today, but first, a haircut. Uh, let's get right into what sold uh, in the past week, top 20 items on eBay. <music> Let's jump right into it. Uh, it's going to go over the uh, what we sold on eBay uh, for the past uh, week or so. Uh, about 20 items, top 20 uh, in no particular order. So first up, we have the Mission Belt. Uh, this was sold for $39.99. Uh, this includes shipping. All of the items we'll go over today. Um, the cost that we uh, mentioned will include the shipping. Um, Mission Belt was uh, we picked up a few of them actually, uh, about seven or eight, I do believe. And they've all sold pretty well. Uh, this one sold for $40, uh, essentially $39.99. Uh, next up, we have some Guess Men's uh, Desmond Jeans. Uh, these sold for $38.94. Uh, once again, Guess uh, moves really well, um, along with uh, Mavi, Silver. Uh, those are other good brands that move really well for us. Uh, men's, women's, uh, doesn't matter. Uh, they all go pretty good. Uh, once again, those sold for $38.94. Uh, next we have some uh, women's uh, silver jeans. Uh, these were uh, Suki Surplus, I do believe. Uh, these sold for $39.99. Next uh, we got some Nike Air Jordans. Uh, we picked these up at Tilly's, paid a, paid a bit up for these ones. They were $10 uh, with no laces. <laughs> I didn't add the laces for some reason, uh, but they still sold uh, for $42.99. Know, uh, so that's $10 and they sold for $42.99, uh, again, including shipping. Uh, next, we got a On The Bias uh, tank top uh, floral pattern. Um, this sold for $29.99. Um, pretty decent for a tank top. Um, we don't sell too many of them, so $30 bucks um, is pretty good. Next up, we have a Panasonic Discman. Um, vintage electronics do pretty well. Um, we picked this one up at a garage sale. Uh, no, this was actually, Tilly is actually for five bucks. Uh, but generally you can find them at garage sales for one or two bucks, definitely no pass on them. They, they bring in uh, pretty good coin. Uh, next we got a Iron Maiden banner. Uh, picked this up for three dollars. We picked up four of them actually uh, for three dollars. This one sold for $43.99. So if you ever do see these, uh, definitely do pick them up. It's from the 80s, uh, so they're uh, pretty old. And once again, this one sold for uh, $43.99. Uh, next was Tundra Sweater. Uh, they do really well for us. This one went for $37.99. Uh, keywords are really important when you're selling these sweaters. Just make sure you do include things, especially, well, they only really go when they're the crazy type pattern, so the Kooji type uh, sweaters. If you're not too familiar with what they are, um, uh, just look them up. Uh, crazy colorways, uh, multicolored, uh, really popular in the 90s. Um, so you do want to be using the keywords such as 90s, uh, 90s rap, uh, biggie, uh, that type of thing, um, and to just get you in the upper echelon of the pricing for the Tundra sweaters. Uh, next up, we have the Sony alarm clock. This was the uh, radio only. Uh, the CD player did not work in this. Uh, this went for $42.87. Uh, next up, we have some Disney jeans. Uh, we've had these for a while, um, so we, we have been holding out to get the higher price like we do with the majority of our items. Uh, these went for $54.99. I uh, thought they were pretty cool. Got the painted on Mickey. Uh, Disney stuff generally uh, does pretty decent. Next, Seven for Mankind. Uh, these jeans uh, sell pretty decent for us as well. Uh, they don't move as quickly as the, the aforementioned uh, Guess, uh, Mavi, and Silver. Uh, however, these went for $51.14. Next up, uh, we have some Salvatore Ferragamos. Women's uh, blue patent leather pumps or wedge type heels. Or, um, these went for uh, $109.87. Uh, this is actually went crazy kick quick. Excuse me, they sold within 20 minutes of listing. Um, really good. Uh, once again, $109.87. Next up, we have a new era uh, baseball cap, uh, Leviathan. Uh, this is a roller coaster at Canada's Wonderland. Um, just uh, over in uh, Vaughan, Ontario, which is a couple hours uh, to the east of us. This sold for uh, twenty-nine dollars, or excuse me, uh, twenty-eight dollars and ninety-eight cents. Uh, we don't sell baseball hats or hats in general too often, um, but we do pick them up because they are so cheap. Generally, a, a buck or two, uh, one dollar or two. Uh, next, we have a Penguin brand men's button-up shirt. 
This went for $30.99. Uh, decent brand, uh, they do sell uh, pretty good um, this time of year. Not so much with the long sleeve button ups, uh, but this one still sold for uh, 31 bucks, basically, $31. Uh, next we have the uh, Nike uh, track jacket, uh, the blue full zip, uh, had a Harp Beer logo on it. This sold for $42.99 with new with tags, um, so pretty good pickup there. Uh, again, $42.99 including the shipping. Uh, next we got a Robert Graham. Uh, this went for $40.87. Uh, they don't sell like they used to, uh, but they still, still sell pretty good anyway. Uh, but they don't uh, fly off the shelves like they used to. Uh, once again, this went for $40.87. Next up, we have a Rockstar Motocross jersey. Uh, this went for $42.87. Uh, haven't sold too much Rockstar branding stuff before. Um, just took a chance as it was only a couple bucks. Uh, I think it was uh, 3 or $4. Uh, so that went for $42.87. And we have another On The Bias tank top. Uh, this was Star Wars themed. It was pretty cool. Uh, this went for $36.87. Um, I think the reason we got so much is just with it being Star Wars branded. Um, you know, a lot of Star Wars fans out there, so they picked that up. Uh, next, we have some Tommy uh, swim trunks. These were new with tags as well. These went for $34.87. Once again, new with tags item, we generally pick it up, um, especially if it's um, cheap in price. Um, some things you do come across in the thrift stores. Uh, when it's new with tags, they're they're asking the moon for it, so we, we sometimes do pass on it, new with tag stuff, but generally we do pick it up when we do see it. Uh, next, we have some Pro Set NFL uh, cards. This was new, sealed, unopened. Uh, we picked this up about a year ago at a garage sale. Uh, we picked up a bunch of cards actually for a buck uh, a piece, a box, and these went for $23.49. And finally, we have a Diesel Men's button up shirt. Uh, this sold for $80.87. Uh, the MSRP on this was ridiculous of $165. Uh, I don't think I'd ever pay $165 for a shirt. Uh, and we did uh, hold out. We asked a, a little more. Uh, so we did get, once again, a total of $80.87. Uh, we could have listed it for, you know, $30 bucks, and I'm sure it would have moved pretty quick. But we did hold out uh, to get the higher price on most items. Uh, so that's about it. Uh, that's all the 20 items that have sold in no particular order uh, over the past week. Uh, if you do have any questions, uh, please feel free to leave them below. We'll get back to you as soon as possible. Once again, please subscribe and uh, like this video as well. Heck, even if you don't, um, you know, give it a thumbs up, thumbs down, whatever. Um, but uh, please subscribe. Uh, your support is greatly appreciated. Take care. Have a good one.